Dr. Fizz here to begin Chapter B in our course on theoretical physics. What is E? This is extremely important in physics, mathematics, chemistry, physical sciences, engineering, economics, social sciences that uses math. Any discipline that uses math to any degree will use E in some form. We are going to define e to the x as a function where if you take the derivative of it, you get the same function back. So derivative, the derivative of e to the x with respect to x is e to the x. And the power series that does a trick is this one. If we're to take the derivative of 1, it goes away. It's a 0. But if you take the derivative of the next piece, x, you get the 1 back, which moves over here. If you take the derivative of x squared over 2 factorial, the 2 comes down, you get 2 to the x over the 2, 2's cancel, and you replace the x. If you then look at x cubed and take its derivative, you get 3x squared, the 3 cancels the 3 and the 3 factorial, leaving 2 factorial, x squared over 2 factorial, hey, that's this term. So all the derivatives replace the 1 before it, and you get the same thing back. So that's a nice realization of e to the x. Now let's consider another realization of e to the x, we are going to look here at this nice binomial expansion uh, rule here. We have a plus b to the quantity and power, and you put a, b down, the pair a, b, all the time, starting a with the nth power, b with the zeroth power, and it's countdown time for a, and minus 1, and minus 2, and minus 3, and it's count up time for the b, 0, 1, 2, 3. Notice that the sum of the uh, exponents always give you n. n plus 0 is n, n minus 1 plus 1 is n, etc. The coefficients in front, you can consider this as 0 with coefficient, and the 0th coefficient is 1. And then the first coefficient is n over 1, and the second one, this is neat. You take two numbers in the numerator, two numbers in the denominator, you count down at the top, and you count up in the bottom. So here, 1, 2, and you multiply. Here, 1, 2, 3, multiply. Here, count down, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So you start at n, count down, start at 1, count up, and there's two numbers at the top, two numbers at the bottom, three numbers at the top, three numbers at the bottom, and it's easy to memorize the formula this way. For the specific case we are interested in, a is going to be replaced by 1, and b by x over n. Since a will be 1, all the a pieces are 1, so we don't have to, we don't have to worry about uh, that at all. They won't even show up. Then x over n, there's your b uh, to the uh, first power, x over n. Here is x over n squared, b squared, and here is x over n cubed, b cubed. And the coefficients are the same from the general formula. Now, we're going to, to take the limit as n goes to infinity, and watch what happens. n over n cancels here, and we'll get x. 1 will just be simply 1. And in this uh, sec second uh, part that has the n's, uh, you have n squared and an n. Well, n squared over n squared will give you 1, and n over n squared will get killed because 1 over n, when it reduces and goes to infinity, is gone. So you get x squared over 2 factorial. This one's a little more complicated, but you'll have an n cubed in there, an n squared, and an n. When you divide by n cubed, it's only the n cubed, the leading term, that's going to survive and get you to 1 with the 3 factorial and the x cubed. The n squared over n cubed will go to 0 as n goes to infinity because you'll have 1 over n. And the n over n cubed will be 1 over n squared. That's going to go to 0. And you get this nice result, which shows that this definition where you take the limit as n goes to infinity of this quantity, 1 plus x over n to the nth power, gives you the same power series as e to the x, so it is also e to the x. This is very important to know both of these definitions, or realizations of the definition, because we defined e to the x as that function where if you take the derivative of it, you get it back. Okay, that's our definition. And we have two realizations, the power series realization and this limit realization, which is very, very important. We'll see more of this in the next section.